Hey guys, it's Mr. Hino with Mr. Hino's Lego Robotics. I didn't want to do this video. It was like a band-aid ripping off. I just thought, hey, you know what? I got to do this. Um, so here's the story. Um, man, I've been teaching robotics since 2014. And um, I don't know. They always say all good things must come to an end. And I didn't want that to be about robotics. Um, here's a story. My family and I are going to be leaving California. And so I guess here's the band-aid ripping off. Um, we are moving to Tennessee and they don't have in Tennessee like robotics classes at the moment that I am, that I am aware of. And so I am not retiring. Um, we're just moving and I'm going to be looking for another job. And to basically scratch off the possibility, unless some miracle happens, I'm not going to be teaching robotics. Um, and so that's what makes this video really tough for me is for a while, this will be my last video. Um, unless somehow miraculously... I find my, myself in a position of having a robotics class or a STEM class that I can introduce robotics. I don't know. Um, I would love to get my hands on my own inventor kit. Um, if I ever get the chance, I'll buy one of those and possibly still continue to upload here on this channel. Uh, but that's, that's the tough part for me. It's always tough to just, because I've gone through stages where I just got, I felt burnt out and I stopped doing robotic videos for a while, but I always kind of knew I'd come back, you know, I would always get inspired and bring you guys more videos. Um, but this seems pretty, you know, this seems pretty, I don't even know the word, final. Uh, but like I said, I'm leaving myself the opportunity to possibly continue to do robotics somewhere. Um, I don't want to get into the logistics or reasoning behind why we're leaving. I think maybe some of you could figure out where we're headed and where we're leaving. If you can maybe just think in your head, oh, okay, I think I know why. Um, but that's the rough part is I thought, you know, I don't know if we, my family ever considered that we would stay in California forever. We have always thought, hey, you know, we might want to settle down and retire in a certain place, but I never thought we would actually get to this point where we're just leaving. So, um, and enough of that. I just want to thank all of you guys for just these, what's it been, eight years? The eight years of magic. You know, my principal, whenever I'd say, hey, hey, how's it thing, you know, how's it going with you today? And he'd always say, I'm living the dream. And teaching robotics, that would be my philosophy is I get to you know, I got to do robotics all day. I mean, people would kill for my job. You know what I mean? And that's what makes this really tough is when it gets down to it, I have to just do what's best for our family. Um, but yeah, leaving this job is, um, it was rough. It's really rough. It's, it's been a rough year just knowing that this would be my last year. Um, so I just want to thank Everybody, for those of you that were with me when we first started this channel, to those of you that just subscribed yesterday, um, and for all of you that have made comments, I've seen you guys at competitions, first LEGO League competitions. That's going to be the rough part. Um, we just did the Spring Showdown in San Diego. Didn't even want to mention the fact that that was going to be my last competition here in California because I... I didn't want to go there. I didn't want to go there mentally. I didn't want to, I don't know. There's just some things you just don't say because you just don't want to say it. So um, I appreciate all of you guys that have, you know, come up to me, said hi. And, that, that, and the cool thing is we always have robotics to just talk for hours about, you know, the past, what things, bad things have happened, good things that have happened, things we've learned. So Ultimately, I hope that this channel has done what I wanted it to do in the very beginning. I was completely lost with robotics. What do we do? Is that like computers and wires and electrical things? I was completely 
I was completely out of my element, my league, my comfort, my comfort zone. And then I, I just found out that it's the most amazing thing. If you stick your mind to it, you can learn things. And what I wanted this channel to do was give that back. Whatever I learned, I wanted to say, hey, this is what we've learned. So you don't have to spend hours, days, weeks trying to figure this out. Just make it smoother for robotics teachers because back in 2014, I checked, there wasn't a lot online, YouTube, to help, you know. Maybe I just wasn't looking in the right places. I don't know. Maybe there wasn't the things that I needed at that moment. And so that was my goal. Let me create this channel. So if anybody comes into robotics just needing to know basics, projects to do, what, you know, what to do in your class, I wanted to be able to share that because I'm a teacher at heart. All of you that teach, we're, we, we want to show people the world what we've learned. And so I'm hoping that this is what this channel has done. And then it started to get into First Lego League and that just blew my mind. First Lego League has been so awesome. So I want to thank Richard Sisk. I know I've thanked you before, Richard, if you're watching this, you lit the fire in me like, I got to do this. This is amazing. That first Lego League board, we got that out of like a dumpster in an auto place. And I was, I didn't, even, I didn't care. I was like, I just need a board. I need to show my students how cool this is going to be. So I want to thank Richard and everybody else that I have met along the first Lego League timeline. I can think of Darlene at Mesa View where we did those scrimmages. I can think of Vanguard out in Victorville where we just had some good times. All the teams that we met from San Diego, Temecula, even Big Bear, and then all of these places. It, it was just, it was a place where we could come together and just know that we were all in this together. We were having fun. We were in our own, you know, element. So I just appreciate you guys. And then I definitely appreciate all of you that just here on this channel, you guys comment, you tell, you know, you tell me things from all over the world, Australia, Israel, um, that's been the cool part is just to see that robotics branches out from our little tiny city right here to all over the world and being able to, you know, just speak the same language. Maybe we don't speak the same verbal language, we speak the same robotics language. And it was cool to know that we could bring each other in on that one. So, man, I'm not gonna get too emotional on this. I just want to thank you guys. This has been the most awesome ride. Each day that I, you know, upload videos. That's what I want to do. I'm so excited to share it with you guys because maybe you don't have the kit. Maybe you you don't know what you can do. Maybe those of you that teach want to, you know, incorporate this into your class and be excited. Robotics is just exciting and that's the part that drove me. That was my passion to be able to do that and then share it so people can see it, enjoy it, and hopefully, you know, just put a smile on your face like the world just was better for that moment. So, so I just wanna tell you guys, I thank you, thank you from the bottom of my heart. This channel has been the most amazing, I don't know, connection that I've had with the outside world, being able to just have fun and be able to know that this stretches past my class, so. To all my former students, man, you've made this the, the greatest ride that my career has had. I was teaching math and science and then 2014, my whole career, like the, the outlook changed. Like I was excited to come to class. Not that I wasn't excited before, but now there was a brand new element. Like I want to learn as much as I can to, you know, teach my students what I know and they can teach me things and we learn together and that was just the coolest part so definitely don't be scared that this channel is going to go anywhere I'm going to leave it up because that was the whole purpose to leave it up for people to see hopefully to find out how to do things so you guys can still message me I will be checking obviously this channel see how things are going if you guys are interested um, you can continue to follow my adventures from here to, to Tennessee on two channels that I have. I have my Base Play 12 channel that some of you have checked out and my We in Tennessee channel. Um, 
those channels you could follow what's happening with me if you want to see what's going on and my goal is to hopefully do first lego league in tennessee that's kind of one of my checkoff boxes i want to somehow get involved that's how cool first lego league is for those of you that have not yet pulled the trigger on participating and for those of you in tennessee I don't know, hook me up with, with First Lego League somehow. Let me know where I can get involved. We're gonna be in the East Tennessee area, the Knoxville area. So I know like in Oak Ridge, um, they're real big with First Lego League. So I would love to just get involved somehow, I don't know. Um, I don't have a job at the moment. So anybody in Tennessee, you know, East Tennessee can hook me up with that. That would be awesome too. But I'm just, leaning on the Lord and my, to help me and my family get settled, um, find our new adventure here in 2022. We knew it was going to be an adventure as soon as the brand new year started. So things have been rolling and I just, I dreaded the day that I was going to have to do this video, but I want to leave it on a good note. So I just want to thank you guys again and just share just a few clips, a few, of just some really cool moments that I've had in robotics. And then I'll come back and sign you guys off after this clip. Thank you again. I, I I hate sounding like a broken record, but to thank you, I can't thank you enough. So I appreciate you guys. Um, you guys can always email me at hino lego robotics at gmail.com. And I don't make me get emotional on here, okay? I just want to thank you guys again. You guys have been the most amazing YouTube community, and I appreciate you guys. So I get to say this one last time. Maybe I'll say it again if I ever get back into robotics, but I am Mr. Hino from Mr. Hino's Lego Robotics. I'm out. We got this. We got this. We got this, guys.
Hey guys, Mr. Hino here. Thank you so much for watching. And if you love robotics, don't forget to check out these videos also because they're cool. Okay guys, take care.